neo-humanism is fundamentally uh, an attitude and a philosophy of life which is based on uh, a positive approach to life you know uh, and it's based on on love the idea that it is the the, the tenderness in uh, our relations with the uh, environment with the nature with other human beings with all beings is which is at the core of our joy and happiness in life so if we can um, uh, build our uh, understanding on this fundamental idea that everything in this universe is a divine expression of supreme consciousness so nothing is alien to us everything is an expression of that highest consciousness everything around us as an expression of our own highest nature so one of the elements of neo humanism is this establishing a linkage with this transcendental uh, aspect of our being which is present in the whole creation and that brings us to the second aspect of neo humanism which is uh, transdisciplinary that you know uh, everything is interdependent in this universe everything uh, affects everything else the third aspect of neo humanism is that it is transformative in nature it's not just an idea which stays in our in the head of our mind it is something which you know transforms our our actions and uh, so there has uh, to be a, a way by which we can uh, apply this uh, uh, the sense of sacredness for all things in action we also work towards harnessing the potentialities of all things and all beings in ways in which it it can enhance the joy and happiness of all a new humanist education was uh, uh, founded or propounded by uh, shri prabhat ranjan sarkar and uh, he based it on his idea of new humanism and he said that our education system should not be only uh, about learning uh, things about this world uh, or it should not only be limited to mundane knowledge but it should be balanced by intuitional knowledge means realizing uh, our deepest nature and to develop all the different levels of the human personality so new humanist education uh, you know presents a uh, um, uh, understanding of human beings as consisting of you know six different layers which are known as koshas or layers of the mind and the outermost layer is our body and and since we work function in this world the world affects us the nature affects us and we affect the nature so uh, the first aspect of new humanist education is learning about inner ecology and outer ecology so it is uh, how to uh, keep our body healthy and how to create a very um, healthy environment in which this body can evolve and grow uh, in a healthy way so um, but we are more than this body so we have many different levels of mind so the first kosha or the layer of mind is, is what we call kamamaya kosha which is basically the um, the layer of mind with which we perceive this world and we uh, handle uh, all the energy around us so in our educational programs we have uh the system of practical uh, cultivating practical life skills technical skills entrepreneurial skills interpersonal skills you know means all the things which we need in order to function in this world uh and that helps us to develop our conscious mind and what we call the kamaya kosha and then the second layer uh, or the or the third layer of this uh, mind is called uh, manomaya kosha which is the level of mind from where we do all the planning and organizing and and uh, we solve problems we make decisions so uh, that is uh, the layer of mind with which we do thinking and 
based on that uh, on on thinking we uh, uh, are able to improve the condition of the world around us so uh, and that's where the scientific rigor and analytical uh, critical reasoning and all these aspects they contribute to development of this manomaya kosha so in our new humanist education system we feel that we need to develop all these three layers the kama the annamaya kosha the kama kosha and the manomaya kosha but we should not stop there but we should also develop the subtler faculties which are there in the human mind and uh, these are the three layers of the superconscious mind we call the ati manas kosha vigyanamaya kosha and hiranamaya kosha in these three layers arts aesthetics music literature and understanding the past present and future you know uh, to be able to develop predictive skills able to be able to uh, vision and vision the future and create a future which would be harmonious for all beings in this universe so uh, um, you know that is part of the you know cultivation of these higher layers of mind and finally the essence of neo humanism is to develop universal love and service spirit that is what is the spiritual component of new humanist education we feel that uh, spirituality is not something which is uh, you know far away or something which we cannot touch but it is it is that uh, sense of uh, interconnectedness with all things it is the feeling of you know that everything is divine everything is the expression of that universal consciousness so therefore we should treat everything as our own and and uh, in that way we can uh, create a world like one universal family so the goal of new humanist edu- education is to create peace on earth to bring prosperity on this earth and to bring uh, harmony and joy you know among all creatures and all beings so any knowledge which can help us to move in that direction you know can be considered as a part of the new humanist education uh, system and a very balanced approach to building human personality uh, so that we do not only uh, create intellectual beings but rather we uh, are able to help to foster all the different levels of human personality and create human beings who can uh, who can create a better world you know who can help to build uh, a better society uh, in every aspect of life in the realm of politics in the realm of economics in the realm of science in the realm of technology in the field of arts in in every aspect of life we should be able to create uh, we should be able to contribute and and uh, and the new humanist schools we have about 1200 schools all over the world uh, and uh, all these schools they are nurturing these uh, values you know uh, the basic question is what is uh, what is life and new humanism answers that question by using the faculties of science and technology to understand who we are and what is the world in which we live so uh, one aspect of uh, that's why we have a strong element in our new humanist education system on uh, uh, on science and uh, scientific temperament you know how to have a scientific aptitude toward everything so that we can uh, we are, uh, our life is not built on some dogma or superstition or certain rituals which we don't understand why they are there and the motivation for all this is that um, we want to celebrate this passion of life this love of life love for all things and this is what uh, is the very reason why we exist that we want to realize that highest consciousness so new humanist education is a kind of a very uh, holistic approach to uh, integrating the sciences and the arts and the spirituality and the values in order to uh, to build a